Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Paul Sibo. So this episode in my 5 minutes Gundam review, I will share with you the HG Hypergrid Gundam Industrial Design Version G40. Alright, so it's a Gundam G40 version. So this Gundam design is pretty pretty interesting because it's a collaboration with Ken Okuyama Designs Company. So this company is actually um, is well known in designing architectures, you know, so real way and yep. So this kit is really something that you might want to collect as part of your collection. It's not just about the fun on building this, but the evolution of Gundam Gunpla designs. Okay, as you can see, this um, Gundam kit comes with a very nice booklet. And this booklet did explain um, how this Gundam uh, evolved and is being designed by this team, uh, Ken. Uh, Okuyama Designs Tape and it is actually has this profile uh, about their designers you know there is all this uh, write up and write up and explanation about why this Gundam is being uh, redesigned this kit is actually evolved from uh, the Gundam RX-78 in this booklet it did explain the details how this Gundam is being designed why is this being designed in such a way that is a lot of uh, details being um, explained in this booklet so it's not just about like having a kit but you have a booklet to explain how this kit is being designed interesting right guys you see up to now I'm still explaining on how these kits are being designed so at the end of this booklet, it does ex, uh, it does brief about the uh, the Gundam factory that, that's happening in uh, Yokohama, and of course, uh, I guess everyone knows that it has a full series of the Gundam factory kits in Yokohama. So back to this uh, the actual kits, all right. So one thing about these kits is um, that it's very minimal um, uh, stickers. All right, you only have a few reflective stickers. I think it's about like five pieces of stickers. Basically, the color base is based on RX-78, very similar. And the one thing about this kit is the articulation is awesome. The whole build of this kit is really different. So as you can see the waist, right? You can actually bend just like a human's bend up and down all right so even though this is evolved from uh, rx78 uh, it doesn't have uh, the core factor inside it's purely but in the booklet they did explain about the uh, core factor but i don't think uh, i think when they design this they it doesn't really fit uh, into this size maybe in the future it has the master grade or perfect grades and as you can see um, the leg part okay it's really really uh, I mean like the articulation is almost similar like uh, master grid I would say it's like real grid it's just that not as detailed as real grid you know look at that okay yep you know how it bend Let's see so and it's pretty strong as well I mean like it, it pre pretty solid as well so it stands very well even though it's light, the whole kit is pretty light. As, as you guys know, uh, this is HG kit and the numbers of runners is about like uh, five runners. Okay, I think, yeah, it's about one, two, three, four. Four runners include the, uh, the beam rifle, the, the clear parts is five. So consider it's only four runners. Okay, it's a very easy to build kit. Very nice. Love these simple things, but um, because of this, uh, the, the specialties of this kit, I did not really do the uh, panel lining. Uh, in fact, in fact, I bought three boxes of this. One is for me to build, another one is for collect, and another one I might 
yep, do some detailings on that. Okay, for this one, it's like a purely straight build, guys. You see the, uh, you see the, uh, the race here. It off. All right. So you can see the waist can turn. I mean, like you can twist. Dum dum dum. All right. Very flexible. You know, the head and the neck part. It can actually roll up to here. You can look up. All right. And yeah, the bend down is normal. Okay. And in fact, the the hand. You can see it can turn, you know, it has like a muscle design. Okay, you can lift this up, all right, hide up, okay, and yep. So, yep, this is really a different experience of building this kit. So, this kit is actually launched in 2019. And it's upon the uh, celebration of 14th anniversary, which is happening on 2020. Okay, guys. So I think uh, that that's about it. Uh, to me, this kit is is cool. It's cool. Uh, not something that you you are able to watch in anime. It's just a crossover designs, and it's pretty interesting because the designers is a famous designer uh, for industrial, and it's very nice for collections. Yeah, the box set is different and it comes with a booklet, okay? So um, that's my takes for these kits, guys. So um, thank you for watching. So remember, like, share and comment at my uh, video below. Uh, share with me any uh, kits that you want me to reveal. I will try my best to do that for you guys. Stay tuned in my channel. I will release a um, new video on every Wednesday and Saturday. I try my best to do that for you guys. So. Yeah, I'll see you in my next video guys. Ciao!